Or what is it? It's back to college for me, back back to high school for you. I'll, I'll say high school. All right. The orange school. jeans are gone, but the music <laughs> remains, all right? Same. It was such a pleasure and such a treat to have all of you all here. Serenaded right. early in the morning. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're fresh from a flight, is that true? Yeah, about an hour and a half ago. And your voices are like that? Well, that's true uh, talent. Isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> what made you decide to get, to come back? Because you guys have been here before. Both both have been here before on separate occasions. A every time we've been here, it has been a, an honor, a, a privilege, and a pleasure. Because the people of, of the Philippines are so sweet and so welcoming. And, and we've had just beautiful, wonderful fans who have supported us since day one. So any opportunity that presents itself for us to be able to come here and to sing for our fans and the people who have supported us and, and also even the people who have maybe gotten married to our songs or whatever the case may be, whenever we've been here, it's been a really, really awesome experience and we're just happy to be back. Happy to have you back. You guys, I mean, this is your first time to collaborate together, isn't it? Yeah. Yes? It's, 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 it's been an honor. It's been a pleasure. You know, these guys are really talented and... and um, but we, you know, we just had our first rehearsal um, just a few days ago because um, we live in different areas. And but it, I mean, we just all clicked. Would you agree? I mean, it just yeah. fell right into yeah. place. So, I mean, the personalities work well together, and and uh, we we you know, we're thrilled about it coming back. We're gonna have a ball in the concert. Well, maybe that can be a band of seven. Heartbreaks, you guys helped him get through them. So I said that for you, all right? <laughs> but um, this concert, apart from doing your old classics, you're also doing sort of a, an homage to Michael Jackson. Yeah. How did that come about? Well, well, uh, you know, they had presented the opportunity to come out here in the Philippines, and of course, we're all big fans of Michael Jackson. You know, he kind of paved the way for all of us, you know, in, in some way, some way or form, and. Uh, you know, thought it was a great idea. We did a little something in Hawaii last year where we gave a little tribute to Mike, and I thought, you know, we can just come together and we felt like that this would be a good time to do it. You know, show some love. MJ. Yeah, especially his birthday. Uh, oh, that's right. Uh, last that's right. Yeah, that's right. There you so. go. All right, well, we talked about the music and why the music, you know, uh, is as enduring as it, it, as it is. Uh, what keeps you guys in the game? I mean, uh, you've been performing for so long, you've been singing for so long. Do you ever get tired of it? Do you ever, does it ever get Does it ever get old for you guys? <laughs> no, obviously not. No, no I'd love to sing. Yeah. You know, I, I, I think I might be able to speak for all of us, but you know, the thing is, all of us were born with this need and this want to sing. You know, all of us from a very early age. Yeah. You know, God had given us that talent to be able to get in front of people and, and enjoy doing that. And I think at some point, you know, no matter what it is you do in life. If, if, if whatever it is you're doing is something that you love to do, you'll never work a day in your life mm -hmm. because you love what you're doing. And for us, it's all about you know being able to get in front of people and see that your music has affected their life, you know, hopefully in a positive way. And hopefully not too many negative ways with breakups, <laughs> but hopefully if it did, there's another song afterwards that'll make you feel better. Right. So, well, it's, it's been like 20 years since we've been together. You know, here, yeah. and the Philippines. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I mean, we've just been in the U.S., seen a, a lot of the, 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 the Filipinos, you know, doing their thing, even over in the U.S. It's been great, you know, and uh, they're sharing their music over to us, you know. Um, making good music, that's what it's all about. Y'all know what that's all about. Because y'all love good music. 
Yes, we do. We do. Uh, we're, so we're looking forward to the concert. Absolutely. What were your favorite memories so far of the last time you were here? I mean, things have changed, obviously. Uh, what were your favorite memories? Yeah, you guys' favorite memories. Gosh, I remember we had a ball bowling one night. <laughs> <laughs> we were bowling with uh, some of the people that we uh, uh, did did some of the shows with. Right. Performing. I'll tell you uh, uh, that's a, what's a really cool uh, memory is it seems like every person in the audience, be it because they're Filipino, have perfect pitch. Yeah. Oh, we're not that. Uh, we're the, uh, I'm the exception <laughs> to the rule. Yeah. Yeah. So to hear the crowd <laughs> sing your songs, yeah. sing along, yeah. sing the melodies, it's awesome. Yeah. You, know, right. you, you don't get that very much anywhere else. That's true. Yeah. I would just come here. I, I would just be amazed at the talent yeah. that was here. We did various, you know, shows. And, and television shows, variety shows, and, and just the talent was just so phenomenal. It was just incredible. I, I would go back to the States bragging about the talent here in the Philippines. And those were what, what are some of my greatest memories. Yeah. It's good to hear, good to hear. And what else are you guys up to? I mean, you, your last album was in 2009, yes? Yeah. So you're did. still singing. Yes, I mean, just yes. in case people would like to know, what do you guys have day jobs? Have you gotten out of the singing scene? Well, we just uh, recently signed with Wright Entertainment, Johnny Wright, who's uh, made a lot of big acts like uh, Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. So uh, we decided that we were going to come together and do it one more time, and uh, we're, we're starting to work on a new project. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're getting ready to go back to the States and do a show with Justin Timberlake uh, in Vegas. So that's kind of like what's on the agenda. Uh, but, uh, you know, we're looking forward to getting back out there and putting out some good music. Again. Well, how about we start right here, right now? Because we've we heard a little bit from uh, Oprah Wan over here. This visit wouldn't be complete if we didn't ask you guys to, to, to give us one of, the, of our favorite hits from the 90s. So please, if you would, ladies and gentlemen, call me back.
everybody to the concert which is happening tomorrow night. Yeah. Tomorrow night is everyone at the Coliseum for I think 7 p.m. or so. It's fun. So everybody come on out. Have a good time. All right. Cool. Good stuff. Thank you very much. Okay, we got the details flashed on screen right there. There's the poster all for one, call me bad. Uh, all together on stage uh, for the first time uh, with a tribute to uh, King Pop, Michael Jackson. Go grab your tickets uh, right now. We'll see you at the concert. It was a real pleasure to have everybody here this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Likewise, thank Thanks you. Thanks for having us. And coming up is President Aquino dating an actress.